Hi there, this is Julie and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you this beautiful magnolia wreath layout. Here are the pieces that I put together to complete not one, but two pages. Because I know a lot of you like a double page spread. I started with this single page layout from the Complete Creativity Collection. I removed a few of the pieces and altered a little bit here and there and I was able to create a double page layout. So let's look at these pieces from the left side, which is the original layout. I used the sage cardstock and I did use the light side and the dark side. Now let's talk about this grid. This grid is fantastic. It was cut using glitter paper and when you cut it, you end up with all of these little squares. And if you're like me, you are going to be compelled to do something with those squares. So this is what I did for the second page. I actually use that grid as a pattern or as a template if you want. I glued it down or I just fastened it down with washi tape. And yes, I did glue all of those little squares to create that beautiful side pattern to my second page layout. I just thought there was no way I was gonna get rid of all of those little squares. So let's put the left side, or the original layout, let's put it together. It goes together beautifully. Now there is a lot of pieces and you do have to be patient, but the end result is so beautiful. So here I'm putting together the, um, I guess the embroidery hoop. I'm just using uh, toffee and vanilla, French vanilla. All right, for the next step here, I'm going to assemble all of those pieces using liquid glue, using a little bit on my uh, multi-purpose mat here, and I'm adding a tiny little bit of water. And with my sponge dauber, I'm actually daubing that glue all on that top piece or that layered piece that's going to go, that's going to form my flower. And I found that by diluting the glue just a tiny little bit, uh, it, first, it goes a long way, and secondly, it doesn't seep through or over the details of the top part. And I just found that it was a lot faster for me to assemble these flowers and all of the leaves because they're all done in the same fashion. So I just thought it was super easy for me to use a sponge dauber and use the glue, just daub it on and just go on with this assembly, assembly of all of those pieces because uh, there are a lot of pieces to put together. So again, you do need to be a little bit patient, but it is completely worth it when you are all done. So off camera, of course, I uh, did all of this because um, I'm just repeating the process throughout. And uh, But I wanted to show you that when you put them together, Using this method of gluing, it's fast and easy. So we're gonna move right along here and I'm going to add again the liquid glue on this grid pattern. And I'm just running it very sparely across all of those lines. And I'm just gonna put it right smack in the middle of my base page. And it's really easy to line up because it's all done. All the sizes for this particular layout I didn't change any of the sizes, I just went as is, and uh, as you can see, it's really pretty. Uh, here, I did glue the hoop with, again, the liquid glue, and I did press it down a little bit because that grid, although it doesn't really show on camera, it is uh, cut out of white glitter paper, so you just need to make sure that you've got a good adhesion to that part of it. So here I'm kind of playing with all of my pieces because there are a lot of them and I'm putting them together. I really like to pre-assemble my pages just to kind of get an idea of what needs to be glued down first and where everything is going to fit together. So I'm looking at my um, off camera to the side. I am looking at my kind of little sketch and I'm just following um, the placement of all of those leaves and the flowers and I'm just putting it all together right here and you can see that by pre-assembling it the first thing you have to glue down is that photo mat and then everything goes on top. I uh, probably wouldn't have caught that right away because there were so many layers and then you just end up having to 
unglue everything. I did quickly show you here that there's multiple options that you can use to put this layout together or the front piece and the back piece. You can use liquid glass, you can use a bonding memory glue, um, you can use foam squares. Here I'm using uh, 3D foam squares again because when I'm gluing this down on top of glitter they just stick much much better. So for this little banner here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use foam squares. And here I'm using the thin foam squares. And I'm putting them all at the bottom of my little banner because I don't have my picture right now. And when I slide my picture into uh, the placement, I'm, those little glue dots would be in the way. So this way, by putting them all at the bottom, I don't have to worry about that uh, when I come back and add my picture. So the word lovely again is part of the um, pre-design layout and here you can see that I'm using the liquid glass and I wasn't too worried if the liquid glass was going to seep out a little bit to the side because this too is cut out of glitter paper and even if there's a little bit of a shine from the liquid glass it's not going to make a difference for this particular application. So again, you're going to have to decide which glue works best for you. And uh, I'm always using different uh, types uh, for different situations. So here I'm putting down my first piece, which is the larger of the flowers. And I am using uh, here the larger pop dots. And then I'm following through with the liquid glue. And I'm going to sneak my little leaves all underneath that one flower. So I've got a little bit of space and I can move those pieces around. It just made it easier for me to assemble um, those flowers and those clusters in that, in that way. So the next little flower is going right back up on top. And again, I'm using um, some uh, foam tape to give me room to slide in my, uh, my little leaves that are going underneath. This layout was so much fun to put together because it, there, there are a, little, a lot of pieces, I'm not going to lie, there's a lot of pieces to this layout, but it just turns out so beautifully. I don't even know if I'm going to keep it in a scrapbook or if I'm actually going to frame this somewhere. It's just that pretty. So we're moving right along here and we're putting the, um, the last flower that's going right on the top. And... Um, and just kind of positioning it which way which way is up and down and you will see that some of the leaves although there's a lot of them there's clusters of them there's clusters of three and two so those are the main ones that go down first so we've got the the cluster of three at the bottom and then the clusters of two at the top the single one uh, that I've cut here I've actually tried to cut all the single leaves on the light side of the cardstock so that when I'm assembling them and all my pieces are everywhere it just made it so much easier. So of course you know what's a flower without a little bit of shimmer so I did go back and add a tiny little bit of clear shimmer on all of those beautiful saffron flowers and it just made all of the difference. It was pretty, it was fun, and uh, I really, really hope that you kind of look at these layouts and do them differently. So when I went back and I looked at my second layout, I felt that it needed a little bit more. Um, I was so impressed with all of those little squares, but I just felt that it needed something, a little something, something to make it pop. So I cut out a couple of uh, tags and then here are just little journaling spots that I'm going to glue down and uh, when I decide what I want to journal about and what those pictures are going to be I'm just going to add my journaling right directly on those little pieces right there. And what's fun about those little squares is that you can use them to line up your little journaling strip and you don't have to measure anything so that's that's always a good thing. So what's, what's left or what else do we need to do to make this layout even more beautiful is that I thought I'd put on a couple of uh, really nice pearls. So I'm just putting a few here and there um, amongst the grid pattern that is at the back. And um, that's pretty much it. So you can easily turn a single page layout into a double page layout 
and trust me you're going to want to do something with all of those little squares so I really hope that you've enjoyed this little process video and I've inspired you to go back to your Cricut collection and play with it if uh, you haven't subscribed to my channel yet I, um, I invite you to do so and click that notification bell Every time I post something, um, you will be notified, and I hope that um, you'll come back and visit with me soon. Thank you for watching, and I hope you're having a really wonderful day. I'll see you soon.